Government corruption has never been more prevalent or caused more harm. It's why extremism is on the rise. It's why the financial gap between the haves and have nots has never been wider. And it's why our planet is at risk of an extinction level tragedy. That's why I need your help to keep exposing the truth about the rot on both sides of the aisle. Become a supporter or a friend of the show today by clicking on the coffee link in the description box below. Friends of the show, join me on a Zoom hangout once a month, and you guys can ask me any questions you want, and I can get to know you better. But the most important reason to help is to keep the show alive. Together, we can and will save our country and our planet. Thanks in advance and enjoy the show. Hey, everyone. Welcome to Plants and Politics. It's time for just the tip, just for a minute, I promise. Um, the new gun safety bill passed the House and Senate. It will soon be signed into law by President Biden. The IRS has announced that they have a backlog of more than 21 million tax returns. These are tax returns filed the old-fashioned way on paper. President Biden is now calling for a three-month suspension of the gas tax to try to ease prices at the pump. Likely, it would only decrease prices by maybe like 15 cents or so. Um, his administration is also in the process of creating a rule to limit the amount of nicotine in U.S. cigarettes. This is to try to reduce addiction. Biden has also raised a few eyebrows by nominating an anti-social security Republican named Andrew Biggs. He nominated him for the board that oversees the social security system. And this comes as the Republicans are poised to take back the House and Senate in the midterms and will most certainly try to push to cut social security and other safety net programs. Um, in election news, anti-choice corporate backed Democrat Henry Cuellar won the recount by only 289 votes that was in his primary against progressive Democrat Jessica Cisneros. In Pennsylvania, progressive Democrat John Fetterman is leading Republican Dr. Mehmet Oz in every poll and by nearly double digits, by the way. A recent poll conducted by one of Donald Trump's own pollsters found that 63% of all Pennsylvania voters view Dr. Oz unfavorably, and that includes 38% of Republicans. So this, of course, is in regard to the Senate race in Pennsylvania, and local analysts are saying that he's now changing his ads, meaning Dr. Oz, and he's changing his messaging. He's removing any mention of an endorsement by Trump. Um, however, in the Pennsylvania governor's race, Democrat Josh Shapiro is only leading Trump-backed election denier Doug Mastriano by 4%, and that is within the margin of error. In abortion news, Alabama and Florida have had their abortion bans held up in court. Judges in those states now have said that they're putting a halt on the abortion laws. So those are on hold. I will let you guys know when I hear more. Thank you so much for the quickie. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Take care. I will talk with you soon.